Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic doing another video on the Signal View PC, which has lately been updated to the version 3.13. I'm sure you can find it on the download. I will not in this video go through some of the enhancement we did on the you know basic software. There are some things that is new. I will probably try to do another video about that. But this one is giving you a very, very short overview of the EMC View software, which is included in that one. It's an option you have to pay, but you can try it for a month for free. So the way I do it, when you download this, you might get two icons. In this case, I, I don't use the icon. I go up here in the right corner and I just click this one to get this up. And this is EMC. So for this setup, I have a kind of a demo board just to show you the basic functionalities of this one. And I hope you find this interesting. And if you want me to, to add another video in more in depth, I think you can find some on tech.com, but you can also drop me a mail at uh, frederick.nordwall at tektronics.com. So let's start. So first of all, you have a setup wizard. And a setup wizard is really nice tool for you to think about, you know, helping people to go through that could be a kind of complex setup for pre-compliance. So you can just read there, step one, two, three, four, five, etc. But today I'm just going to run a simple, simple test. We're going to do radiated. I like this functionality. If you buy the accessories from us, we could just load them can change so select the antenna and everything is compensated and I can remove and add and etc but in for my demo we don't have anything so uh, but this is good of course if you have an antenna which most uh, you can you know go and, and, and you know, edit this table and do your own antenna uh, factor correction the next step thing you do is that when you have your setup for this pre-compliance for radiated is you go and set what kind of test you're going to conduct. And for my test I'm going to use a little odd one which is a multimedia one and I'm just going to use one goes up to 6 gig and my demo signal spits out the signal to 2.4 gig just to violate the mask. So in this case I have this, I have a margin, I can select the margin to be higher or lower. six. At the two limits, I can have the frequency of linear or log. In this case, linear is fine. We have this one. So if I have and change something, it could be kind of you know in the industry specific or mill specific one. We have some mill as well. Uh, you can edit this label to fit your needs if it's out of spec. So the the you know the list of standards we have today is this one, and from US, I'm guess that there's in US there's this one. And then you can just go down and select whatever you want. We're going back to this one I had from the beginning that is up to six gig. Okay. Uh, then there's the measurement method. There's a pre-scan plus manual, which means that you do a scan and then you select which one you're gonna do a, a respot measurement using CISPR averaging, or you can do a pre-scan with an auto spot on failure, which means that everything is outside. It would automatically redo the measurement using CISPR averaging or a complete scan. So why would you select this one? Uh, yes, for this stupid demo example, if I set up a complete scan from like one gig to six gig and complete scan, if you look here, the estimated analysis time is like 5,092 seconds. And I'm trying to keep my videos very short. It would be very good to do that. So I select the top one called pre-scan on manual spot. I've done this. I go to the reports, I put my name, Frederick dot Nordwall. You know, a project could be demo, demo. organization. I still work with tech. Temperature, oh, in Sweden it's cold right now, and the war location is Gothenburg. Uh, Gothenburg, if you like that one. And device type can just be demo. So we, we've done this one, and then I can uh, user information, environment information, EUT information. Okay, and run test. Okay, so I stopped this one. One of the things that you, you know I, I do on this one is I need to uh, leverage my reference level. And I normally tend to go with the ref level just a little bit, maybe like 80. 
so we have some room left here to use the dynamic range of the instrument so we run this again run so we're running my live test now uh, and let's see if there's a failure i think there should be one and failures are indicated very very clearly with the red and in this case of course there's only really one spot one of the questions that we do next one is to see if this is something to do with the ambient nature so i close my device again and i do an ambient measurement yes i closed it it's not working and then it does a measurement again just to see if there's noise in the environment and this is especially for radiated measurement there could be some other th stuff that you know uh, lets you think that you have a problem with your, your device and that will give you when this is done it will give you a, a feeling down here what's the difference between the ambient and the delta and you can see in this case down here is 52 db microvolt per meter which is <laughs> it's a lot so this is not an ambient it's nothing to do with the ambient when we've done this one we can now go into this one and select this spot manually just select spot and do an uh, a re a re spot measurement i press this one and we're actually doing a, a CISPR averaging meet on the one that's failed so when we're done with this one it will take uh, you know some time uh, the EMC settings you know you press this one you go in here and it's the same parameters as we have it on spur search more or less mission type accessories range and limits is here and you can have more limits you can have a third limit if you want you can select the measurement type and the detector you can select which traces are shown uh, ambient if you want to show the ambient or not show the ambient you can have that uh, you know different scaling and, and also different you know show target level and limits only trace points so now we've done this you know we have a scan sys per scan peak and a sys per average you know and it's still in this case it's funny because it's, it reports here as it's passing but of course as normally in the demo i forgot to turn my device on so now it's on and we're going to respot do this uh, respot the measurement again so then uh, hopefully this blue will go up again and we'll be really red so you know download this one and you get some other features as well just download it from tech.com if you can find it uh, some trouble sometimes and then the other one up here i will just walk through but in this case you know scan sys per peak spot sys per peak so spot sys per averaging all is failing you can see that they're red and there's a fail here I want to do a report now I can say that this report is fail fail test today and I when I done this one I can have user notes saying that this is uh, this is uh, for the YouTube and in some cases you know you can add some uh, pictures of the setup I don't do it you know and I press save and now I generated the report and you can see I played you know with this a couple of times and now I can select one of those I can select multiple if I do a re, you know, re measurement and then I do a generate report the ren you know the generated report I hope you can see it now uh, consists of a, a few pages a little bit of the setup you know I have this one engineer is my name which RSA 306 which is an old unit I'm using you know measurement one fail on test you know radiated blah 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 and you go through and you have all this data that is needed for you to actually be you know looking at this measurement and that when you've done this you can export or you know export to pdf single click and you it's done so this is the first time signal we actually have something kind of reporting which i like a lot the other measurement we have here is more like a harmonic marker so if we have this one and harmonic marker, I will put it up here. Oh, where did it go? Oh, let me see. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the inspect. And then I need to hear, you know, it's actually the harmonic marker. So if we have this one running, we will have a start. Uh, we, we need to go to the settings here. But here we can look at the different uh, uh, 
harmonics of my fundamentals. So if I go to settings here, uh, you know, this is 2.445, 2.445 gig. So this is probably my fundamental. So I do a, a single one on that one now. And it's receiving. It will give me, you know, it's analyzed. It will take a lot of time. You see, this is the first one, you know, frequency. And you can see the absolute values, etc. Uh, I stop this one. Then I can go to the inspect, target level, compare traces. And then we have the persistence display and ambient measurement. Uh, overall, I'm very, very happy with this one. It's the first time ever uh, we can really see that we have a good solution for pre-compliance, including reporting. We have all the different detectors needed and most of the standards. I have several customers said that, we, that they couldn't really find their standard, but they were able to edit their own standard and call it the name they wanted. I hope you enjoy this video and hopefully soon again there will be a new video out on a little bit more about the secret updates within uh, SignalView PC and some undocumented new software that will be released soon for you guys signal hunting. Cheers, bye.